So I'm now joined by Stefan Deo, Chief Europe Economist for UBS Securities. Thank you very much, Andy, for coming in to speak to us. So what are your expectations ahead of the Irish bond sale? Well, we saw the Irish spread widening last week. It's probably due to these, um, these sales. I don't think there is a big problem. They already have found 90% of their budget for this year. So mm -hmm. the liquidity problem is not really a big problem in, in Ireland. I think the, the sales will be OK. The problem is more on the long term. We are not sure, actually, that Ireland will be able to, to cope with that with the problem. Exactly. I suppose the key here is their ability to really convince investors that they're not going to need a European Union or IMF bailout. Do you think they will succeed? We'll see, but I think what Barroso was saying is right. The Irish are doing the right thing. They've been very proactive. They've been very efficient at tackling the problem. The question is whether the situation is under control. Mr. Barroso tells us that the situation is indeed under control. Mm. It's probably right, but we're not sure yet. And this is the problem, is this level of uncertainty, because Ireland mm -hmm. seemed to, it was praised, if you like, for its early budget cuts, and yet we've seen problems come into focus yet again. Yes, well, you had a massive bubble in the construction sector, in the housing sector, and you know the imp implication for the banks and for the financial system. So indeed, I think the authority are doing the right thing in terms of recapitalizing the bank, in terms of cleaning the balance sheet. But the problem is so huge, you, you cannot be sure that uh, it will be enough, actually, to solve the problem. I mean, looking ahead, a key event coming up for Ireland will be the upcoming pre-budget report yes. in October, the budget in December. What are your expectations? What do you think they're going to show us? Well, I think those are the important data points. There's also a communication from the central bank at the beginning of October in terms of what recapitalization, further recapitalization is needed. So that would be the, the signpost. I would expect uh, a budget which will remain very tight uh, for next year. They have to reduce their, their deficit by quite a margin. So Ireland hasn't done all it can in terms of austerity measures and cutbacks. They have much further to go. No, they have done, they, but uh, you know the deficit will still be double digit this year, so you need further adjustment. I think really the key issue for Ireland is whether they can export uh, their recovery and whether the, the exporting sector will help them to, to recover. If you have a global recovery, then Ireland is very well placed to get exposure in that case. And it's that's precisely the problem, isn't it, is this faltering recovery in other developed markets in Europe? in the U.S. elsewhere? Well, for the U.S., my colleague has a forecast of 2.8%. For the Eurozone, we have 1.9 for next year. So it is not a great recovery. We all agree on that. But we think it's a sustainable one. Uh, and that's probably enough to save uh, Ireland. Now, S&P said Ireland may have to pay out more than initially expected to bail out its banks. But can Ireland really afford to do this without going to the IMF? I think, uh, given the number we are talking about, yeah, it's probably doable for the time being. But you know, the, the bill increases uh, uh, every month, so every uh, or regularly, mm. and that's the problem: is you, you don't know how much longer can this go on for. Well, for the time being, the debt to GDP ratio in Ireland is reasonably low uh, compared to European standards. And again, they have funded all their budgets. So if you're talking about 10 billion or, or more for this year, I think it's totally uh, doable. So why the nervousness? in the markets? Well, because there's still some uncertainty, uh, because the number we're talking about are very big, and because, you know, it can very quickly become self-fulfilling. If the banking sector is in trouble, then the asset price will go down, then you have to recapitalize, but the asset price continues to go down. And, uh, and Domino you, you can, effect. Yeah. It's a, we call it a debt trap. In a, in Stefan Deo, Chief European Economist for UBS Securities, thanks so much for coming to give us your thoughts. You. Good to talk to you.